We could catch smallmouth in here. We could catch spotted bass, largemouth. There's a bunch of crappie in here. Here he is right here. See him? Oh, yeah. There we go. What have I got? I got a stick. Got a limb yeah, if I was a beaver, I'd be a, that'd be a big catch. Get him, son. Get him. Get him. Oh, Lord, is that a good one? Every one of them is good. <laughs> what you got, boy? Is that a crappie? <laughs> nice little spotted bass. They so washed out looking, they almost look like a crappie, don't they? Yep. Here she comes. Look, 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 look. Ooh. <laughs> How cool is that? That is so cool. She's got a nest over there. I can see a big nest in that uh, big pine tree over there. And when we get ready to leave, we may ride over and take a look. Mother Nature just something else, ain't I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I love that right there. I got my buddy Heath back there with me today. And uh, he loves this live bait fishing just like I do. You can tell by, look at all the minnow scales on his, uh, on his rod handle right there. See, when you, got, when you got minnow scales like that right there on your rod handle, you love live bait fishing. That's a fact. Nice little spotted bass. We're after some big fish today. You got him, but oh. He got some weight on him? Yeah. He got some shoulders? Yeah. I think we done found them now. Oh, what a fish. Golly, what a spotted yeah. bass, son. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> look at what one. Wow. Look at that thing, y'all. Now that right there is what I call a football. You want to weigh that fish? Just yeah, I want to weigh it. I want to okay. weigh this. All right, folks, we're gonna, I'm going to get old Bubba out. This is a Bubba fish right here. I'm going to get old Bubba out. We're going to weigh this one. We just put him in that mineral tank that I get my scales out. Right. Oh, Bubba. All right. Okay, now we're going to hook him up. And we're going to weigh this fish. Okay, just drop him down there. Look right here. Four pound. Four pound, two ounces. Four, two. That's a that's that's a heck of a fish that's right a there. Heck of a spot. Yeah, that's a nice Kentucky spotted bass. Yeah, he been eating good too. Twitch him this way a little bit. Yeah, right there. But right, let's turn this big big joker loose here, Lord. Look here. You get going. Hey, congratulations, Tate. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we finna get on them now. All right, folks, what we got? We got Tennessee River right out yonder. And boy, they got the floodgates open up yonder to dam, which is, a, I don't know, maybe 10 miles up river here. It's flowing down like this right here. And when you get right out there, it's too, it's too swift. You can't fish it. And uh, and all these fish, what we got, we got this point right here running out. And as it goes under the water right here, it just drops off right here. Just right out there toward the end of my finger. It ain't but six foot deep, but we're sitting in, I'll show y'all right here, 16.8 feet deep. See right there? And the water temperature right here is 50. So we're right in the mouth of this little old river coming out right here into the big river. And these fish are just staging right here. The current's coming like this. And these bass, they've been hanging out right in here. This is where their nose into the current like that right there. It's when that bait comes up over it, they just run up there and grab it. Oh, yeah, I got one on. He feels it. Oh, did you see that? Oh, they want to hook that. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Did y'all see it? That little old bitty fish right there. Look, it jerked my pole down. Boy, fish ice cold. And all we doing, we just throwing that minnow right up through there. And just, just letting it bounce right back here to us. And it's dropping off this little drop off right here, right down in there. And that's where these fish are. I mean, we catch them just almost right here up on the boat. Oop, 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 did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. He is definitely still on here, too. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he brought it now. Let's see what we got here. One of them golly walkers. There he is. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good fish. Seriously. <laughs> Pretty good fish. Oh, oh man, yeah. look at here, boy. Yeah. Yeah, look at here. Nice big spotty bass. Get him in that book. Oh, we water merchant. Look yeah. at there. <laughs> that's a chunk. <laughs> Ain't it? Yes, that's a good one. Look at there. 
that fish right there, he good, good fish. He, he heavy. Okay, I'm gonna turn him loose. Look down in there, boy, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, folks, today I'm fishing with my ducket pole, Silverado. I use this pole 99% of the time. And it is a six foot nine, it's a medium heavy. And the reason I like this pole right here, it's lightweight, it feels really good, it balances in my hands, y'all can see right there. And uh, and not only, you can tell I use it a lot, it's got all these minor scales on it. Look at there. And, uh, but I did change the reel. I put another reel on it. Now this right here is a, a, a Revo. It's a Arbor Garcia. And I really like this reel a lot. I'm probably gonna keep it on here and use it. I've been using that uh, Johnny Mars reel, which it's a good reel too, but I like this one right here. Uh, it's got a real nice smooth. It's not drag system at all. Anyway, anyway, and I've got uh, 30 pound Power Pro high vis braid on here. This leader right here, it's a mono. It's Berkeley Trilene mono, and it's a 12 pound test. And right now, I just got two little split shots on here, just enough to just tickle the bottom when it bounces, comes back down through here. And like I say, this a little number two hook right here. There's, there's them little old hooks I'm using right there, y'all can see. Owner number two mosquito hook right there, red. Yep. Got a bunch of little nicks in that line right there. Don't take much of them kind of fish right there. When they come up and get it like that, they, they clamp down on it, on that line. And when you reel them in, their teeth is soft back and forth on that line right there. And so anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just retie because we could catch them showing up big ones right here. As y'all can tell, this water right here is real dingy. And that's cause it's coming out of this little river right here. And when you get right out there, you kind of, you can even see the big river where, where it kind of hits right there. It's real dingy and it just clears up. There's a little like an edge right there. And uh, right where the edge of that current that goes down through there. And we're just sitting right back in here off of it just a little bit. Now in this area right here, y'all, where we fishing? Back in years and hundreds and hundreds, they were Indian Native American villages all around here, around the mouth of this creek right here. And, uh, and you can bet back then, they probably fished with exactly what we're fishing with right here. It's all natural swim bait. <laughs> yeah, nope. Oh, get it. Oh, God, that's a good one, ain't it? Oh, dang it. He's a big one. I'm, oh yeah, you, you, no, 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 he got, you, you got a big one on. Oh, oh, what is it, what is it? Oh my gosh, yeah. look at there, that's a big small mouth. <laughs> no, it's just, it's a mean mouth. What is it? It's, a, it's another spot. Is it a spot? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to bubble. We're gonna... I need to bubble this one. Hey, when you, hold on, let me get mine in, Lord have mercy. He's on the road today, son. <laughs> We're gonna bubble a bunch today, I hope. No, that's a mean, I think that's a mean mouth. Well, that's the biggest one I've ever caught. Let's cut old Bubba on here. We're gonna see what this one weighs. <laughs> Look at here. Four pound, nine ounces. Four, nine. Four, nine. <laughs> right there, y'all. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. These are down in there. Look at that, boy, that's a fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Look at that, now, that, that smile right there. Folks, that's right there is what it's all about. Right there, that's it, yeah. Now folks, Heath right here, he does a lot of live bait. He does probably as much, if not more live bait fishing than I do. And he's, he's better at it, just to be, be honest with you. He's more into it. And so his setup is a little bit more, uh, I guess you might say, more technically correct than the way I fish. So hey, tell us about your setup here. What you got going on? I use a FX custom rod, extreme. Yeah. It's seven foot, medium heavy. I use a Vanford Shimano 1000. Yeah. <clears throat> I use the 30 pound Power Pro, a 30 pound Power Pro with a 12 pound leader. Now me, I just I just mashed a couple of sinkers on there, and that's the way I fish. He's right here. He, he's a little more, he's a little more more professional about it than I am. He's got to show right. <laughs> I got a quarter ounce, like a barrel sinker, and I just use bobber stop so I can move that weight up and down as I want to. So if I want to go shorter, I'll just push it down. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Like that. Yeah, and that's, that's a little bobber stops on there, right? Yep. And then I use a number one mosquito hook. Number 
or so we can say it. Number one. Number one for this smaller bait that we're using today. Yeah. If I'm using the big shed, I, I go all the way up to a three alt. Uh -huh. And we're fishing with these little gizzard shads right here. I've found this time of the year when this water temperature gets, when it gets real cold, seem like they want to they go to a smaller bait and they want to go to gizzard shad. Oh I, oh, I got a big fish on. There we go. Here we go, we got one. What is this? Oh, it's a nice bass. Get in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another spotted bass. Boy, we in them right here. Lord have mercy. Beautiful day out here, too. It's uh, supposed to get up to about 60 something today. We've had some really cold weather here in the last few weeks. And this is really the first chance I've had to come down here at the river and fish in about three weeks. Oh, yeah. big one. Yep. Netter. Yep. Okay. He, he is on. Oh, Lord, look at what another big spotted bass he's got. <laughs> Get in there, Ned. <laughs> oh, he made three good ones. <laughs> <laughs> look at him grinning. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one there. Yeah. 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 What is it? I think it's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. Nice spotted bag. Yeah, get the net on this one. Make me feel better if you'll net one for me. <laughs> he probably ain't netted, but hey, that's okay. Look at there. It's a nice chunk. Look at what some, man, these some, we got some healthy fish in this Tennessee River. Look at that fish right there. Oh, Lord. We're catching a bunch of them. We won't catch some big fish. Four pound or better. Fish. Bonafide certified way to find. We're just slanging this minter up the river. That's all we're doing, letting it go down. And the current actually does the work for you and it just bounces it down through. I leave my bail open like that with my finger on the line. If I got that line on my finger right there, I can feel a fish when he grabs it. I mean, I can feel it. And then when I do that, see what I do is just flip the bail over just like that and reel all the slack up and set the hook and you got it. Ooh wee. Got one tapping on it. He's got it now. Goodness. Hey, this here could be a big one showing up. I mean, he flat knocked the snot out of it. Ooh, big, you get a netter. I think it's a big small mouth. I think it's a big small mouth. Oh no. May not be. Yeah, it is a big small mouth. Golly. What a, what <laughs> this, a fish. this is a nice one. He pulling drag. Ooh, what's a big small mouth? Get that big hound dog, son. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally got a hold of a good in this afternoon. And I got my bubble scales right here. And we're gonna weigh him. Let's see what this is going to weigh. This is definitely a bubble fish. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this joker's going to weigh here. There we go. Four pound, three ounces. Y'all can see it right there. Yep. Yeah, that's fine fish right there. And looky, what a pretty fish. And that is a chunk. I'm going to turn this fish loose. And we might just try to catch another. Yep. All right. Oh Lord, that fish took out. There he is. Yeah. I sure did. That's nice. He tried to jump. Get him up in here. Oh Lord, he mercy. Yep. Well, folks, we have caught. Oh, children. We have caught. I don't know how many of these today. How many would you think we caught? We didn't keep up, what, 25, 30 morning? Every, every bit of 30. Yeah. Sun's going down over Viana. Beautiful day today out here on the river. Appreciate y'all tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Folks, we just pulled over. I'm gonna show y'all that eagle nest. Can y'all see it out there? It's right in the middle of the screen right there. Right, right there it is. Can y'all see it? Right there's that eagle nest, right there. Them nests right there, they can weigh up 2,000 pounds. Yeah, sure can. I read up on them.